Today on Stu's Cookery Class, I'm going to be showing you how to make a really quick and easy creamy pork and apple dish. So first we'll take two pork steaks and just sprinkle them with some flour. Nothing too precise, they just want to be coated so that they can have a nice crispy outside once they're cooked. And we're just going to drop these into a hot pan with a little oil and you'll hear that sizzle and you just want to cook them till they're crispy on each side. It'll probably take around four to five minutes. You'll see that the colour of the oil in the bottom of the pan's browning, and that's absolutely fine. That's all flavour in there. So we're just going to flip these over and continue to cook them until they're really nice and crispy on the other side too. Once they're done, we'll uh, remove them and set them to one side to heat back up later. Now that's done, uh, I should have had this ready earlier, but I'm going to slice my red onion and drop that straight into the hot pan. If you wanted to as well at this point, you could add some mixed herbs if you had some, or even a little paprika. Again, with the apple, I could have had this ready before, but I've just quickly peeled it and sliced it into thin wedges. And this just helps it to cook a little quicker, so it's not really sort of firm and sharp when you bite into them. We're then just going to give this two minutes in the pan, just so the apple can sweat down slightly. I'm also going to add a little splash of lemon juice. This is completely optional. Um, but it just makes the sauce a bit lighter and a bit fresher. If you wanted to and you had some spare, you could use something like white wine instead. I'm then going to add a little bit of garlic. You could use chopped, but I've got some garlic paste in the fridge that I need to use up. I'm then going to add about 25 grams of butter, get that completely melted, and add 25 grams of flour. So this is just the start of the sauce, the base, um, which is a, a roux. I'm just leaving all the stuff in there to continue to cook down as I make the sauce. So what we're going to do is we're slowly going to add a pint of milk. So we'll just add a splash at a time, keeping the heat really high and boiling that liquid and combining it into the flour to make the sauce. Now this will take a little bit of time um, as you slowly keep adding the milk in, um, but it shouldn't take too long. You might find at the end as well, um, after you've added the last bit of milk, you'll just want to give it a really good boil to make sure all the flour's cooked out. And if your sauce is a little thin, you can reduce it down to thicken it up. Or if it's a little too thick, you can always add a splash of extra milk. Once that's done and you're happy with how thick it is, you can either leave it to one side uh, to heat up later so you can be ready ahead of time, like I have done, which is why there's a little extra milk in there, um, just to loosen it back down after it's been sat. And uh, what you do is just pop the pork in and give it two to three minutes on each side just to make sure it's really hot through. Um, now my pork steaks were really thin, so they only took about a minute to uh, heat back up. But you can serve this with mash, uh, roasts, um, any veg really, whatever you've got. It's really nice, simple and easy. If you like this video, hit that button and maybe consider subscribing and hit, hitting the bell notification so you don't miss any future content. And if you really liked it, why not check out my midweek meals playlist where you can find loads more recipes like these.